from Tokyo my dear dear friends this is Daisuke and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very very good spirits wherever you are in the world and today if you don't mind I would very much like to continue on with our journey our exploration our discussion of the works that can be found within this really marvelous set known as pioneers of african-american cinema and this happens to be the blu-ray physical media release version that was made by kino classics some years back i mentioned this because the work that i wanted to focus on today if you don't mind is described by the materials as being part of the blu-ray edition only and this is a film that is described as being from circa 1935. The filmmakers are James and Alois Gist. The name of the work is Heaven Bound Travelers. I think if we were to try to focus in on the essential plot of this particular work, I think we might focus our attention, uh, quite reasonably so, to that component of the work which involves or seems to involve a couple and the husband and wife and some kind of event that leads to the husband believing that the wife has been unfaithful. There is information and there are some scenes that perhaps show us that that is indeed not the case, but that ultimately there is some kind of misunderstanding or some kind of confusion about what actually might be happening. But in any event, we have what could be described to be at the core of this film, this story involving a couple and the breakup of this particular couple, again, due to certain circumstances, and what the consequences of these particular events are. So this, I think, could be said to be the essence or the, the central focus, if you will, of this particular work, Heaven Bound Travelers. Now, I mentioned it in those terms because I think what is really interesting, really remarkable about this work is how many levels it seems to be operating on, uh, definitely within the framework of its plot, because I think the way that it's organized suggests to us, the viewer, that we are dealing with various levels of characterization and characters because we go from one set of characters and then we suddenly go to another set of scenarios and then we go to yet another set of scenarios that seem to have some kind of linkage in terms of uh, commonality of uh, various specific personages or characters that we meet along the way. But there is still room for interpretation so as to give this film, for lack of a better phrase, a type of epic quality because we are dealing with what could be said to be some kind of multi-story type of, of presentation um, with a primary story seemingly at its core, namely this story of this couple and what happens to them. There is also this, I think, sense of, of relatability or the sense of engagement by virtue of the fact that we are focusing on, on this couple. And it seems to involve these elements of the dramatic or melodramatic. And I mean that in a positive light because that is one way that we, the audience, can be drawn in to this particular work. And I think this idea of being drawn into the work is also consistent with what we have seen in the other works by James and Alois Gist in terms of the type of conceit or metaphor that the filmmakers are employing with their prior works uh, and, uh, and how that is framed in some kind of context of religious-based morality and how that is played out in one's day-to-day -day life during these times, again, in the late 1920s, early 1930s. And I believe that is present here. What could be uh, an, an interesting 
perhaps difference between, say, the earlier works that we saw from uh, James and Lois Gist and this work is that maybe on the surface, this film, Heaven Bound Travelers, might not necessarily seem to involve the same kind of conceit or metaphor that we saw in, say, Verdict Not Guilty in terms of the, 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 uh, the trial or a uh, uh, hellbound train in terms of each train car of this moving train representing some kind of sin of the times. Here in Heaven Bound Travelers, we get perhaps a very quote-unquote directly presented drama or melodrama. However, I would suggest too that there are still these elements of the application of conceit or metaphor in the film Heaven Bound Travelers because we do get, at least in the version that we have as presented in this particular set, we do get these glimpses of a type of, of say, um, uh, maybe images that could suggest uh, absolution or metaphors that could suggest some kind of, of, uh, of transcendental-like realization, epiphany that could be uh, elevated to the level of, say, some kind of, of moral or personal or emotional or religious-based miracle. And that miracle is something to do with both the intimate and the infinite. And so uh, that kind of conceit still is operating, to a certain degree anyway, within the, the context of this film, Heaven Bound Traveler. So in that way, I think we could see a very strong linkage with other works by James and Alois Gist. Also, even within the structure or the plot framework of Heaven Bound Travelers, we do get this multi- uh, at least one possible interpretation could be a type of multi-leveled or multi-tiered story. And in that way, we can see that mul various tiers of a story uh, do operate, uh, especially within the context of the application of a conceit or metaphor. So when we have a conceit or metaphor in the story, it operates on multi multiple tiers. And then here we also have a multiple tiered story, at least arguably so. And in that way, I think we do get this sense of of a type of 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 freedom in terms of the independent filmmaking spirit that is trying to present a story uh, from various angles or various perspectives. And I think that is also suggestive of a type of independence of filmmaking and artist uh, craftsmanship that was on display uh, from these earlier works. So I think in that way, there is a line of continuity, at least in the terms of an independent artistic spirit, for lack of a better phrase. And of course, we do get in this film, like in the past films, a focus in on uh, the religious-based morality as played out in daily life. Uh, the notion of guilt and regret uh, is particularly at play here, and also the importance of a type of of family or family unit, again, as displayed or as depicted through the cinema of James and Alois Gist. And we understand that this is also seemingly very consistent with other past works by the Gists, especially when we recall uh, their own biographical background and uh, their use of their films as a type of way to supplement or become part of various sermons or sermonettes that they would deliver uh, on a traveling type of basis. And so in that way, we have this film, Heaven Bound Travelers, that is also in that same uh, spirit or in that same uh, category, if you will, of a type of religious-based discussion. And that is even made further evident by the various title cards that are used in this film. There are quotes and references made to passages of the Bible, for example. And these, I think, are then made manifest into uh, the various scenes that we see played out in these stories that we see. Uh, and then it seems to have a type of of uh, a, a really almost lyrical based uh, denouement or conclusion that can return us to our previous comments before about the filmmaking craft of James Alois Gist and their use or their reliance on metaphor or, or uh, lyrical images or, or images of cinematic poetry in order to uh, really further uh, uh, support their, let's say, uh, moral-based perspectives as played out in these uh, accounts 
through their cinema. So uh, it seems to be very integral. Uh, and in those ways, this film, I would say, is very consistent with what we have seen from James and Aloys Gist in the past. And there is also this interesting way that information is presented, uh, the way that the camera is is focusing on various characters. There is a real sense of, of uh, almost tragedy and loss, especially when we realize what happens to this particular couple. And we see the disappointment, or we can sense the the real pain and the regret that results. And so there is this almost emotional investment that is very natural and very organic uh, uh, in terms of one's, or the visual, the viewer's, excuse me, engagement or potential engagement with this work. And so I think there is a real power that is at play in this particular work, Heaven Bound Travelers. Uh, and so uh, the, and I should mention too that the wife in this work is, uh, we understand, according to materials, the wife is actually portrayed by Eloise Gist herself. So I think there is an even uh, a more significance and power in terms of the performance that she provides as well as the, the, the overall mood and atmosphere and environment that is conveyed uh, through various aspects of the film Heaven Bound Travelers. So uh, this is my my way of trying to emphasize and trying to suggest that there is so much here uh, in terms of uh, a great uh, type of uh, entertainment as well as uh, lovely consistency with the cinema of James and Always Gist. I should say also that the comments that were made by S. Toriano Berry in the supplement that can be found on disc three of the Blu-ray version at least of Pioneers of African American Cinema go into a number of details about his work in terms of the restoration of the films of James and Lois Gist. But one of the things he does go into is how this work was very recently discovered. And so it was uh, essentially a uh, discovery that was made through his work. And so this becomes a new type of treasure, a cinematic treasure that we in the present day uh, I think are very fortunate to be able to to watch. I mean, we were able to see these wonderful versions of these films, including the other works by James and Alois Gist, and we were able to see this new discovery, as it were. And so uh, we do get uh, some comments by S. Toriano Berry about uh, his approach to the, the restoration process itself. What was the background or story behind what eventually became this discovery that ended up becoming part of the release of this set that is Heaven Bound Travelers. So if you are interested and if you are able, I would strongly recommend checking out, among other places of course, I would strongly recommend checking out that lovely, lovely discussion that S. Toriano Berry gives Again, it's, you can find it as part of the supplements here, um, this set, for example. So please check it out. It is really, really remarkable and fantastic. And again, I'm just recalling some of the comments that he made, and it makes me, again, realize just how fortunate we are in being able to watch uh, Heaven Bound Travelers and also the other films that are surviving. A hellbound train and verdict not guilty in the condition that we are able to see them in, uh, at least uh, as we saw them in the Blu ray set here, Pioneers of African American Cinema. So, uh, if you have that opportunity, I strongly recommend that you check that out if you can. Okay, my friends, so that's it for now. And so, thank you very much for your time. I very much appreciate it. Uh, let us continue on with these films, these really wonderful films in this set. And so hopefully I will see you at the next video. And until then, my friends, please continue to be happy and healthy and well. And please keep on watching a lot of great, great movies. Thank you so much, as always, for your time. I very much appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers.